Hello everyone. Welcome to Sri Kartikeya IAS Academy. In this video, we are going to deal with some questions related to current affairs. Let's go with it. Question number 1. What is environmental impact assessment used for? So before going into the statements, let us know what is this environmental impact assessment is. This is a process which is used to identify and evaluate the potential environmental effects of a proposed project plan or development and this is a process which is uh, used for a decision makers to understanding how a project may impact the environment and enable them to make uh, informed decisions and uh, steps to minimize any adverse effect so this assessment mainly says that if anyone's want to start or if any makers want to start a project they should know how their project will impact the environment and they should take a decisions or a steps to minimize the effects so let us go into the statements to know which statement is correct to as a uh, statement a to assess the economic feasibility of a construction project this statement is not correct because the project is mainly you know it uh, says about how a project will impact the environment so this statement is not correct statement b to evaluate the social impact of proposed development even this statement is not correct statement c to identify and assess the potential environment effects of project so this statement is correct statement d to determine the tax implication of a business expansion so this assessment is mainly based on how a project will impact the environment so there is nothing about the tax implication of a business expansion so only the option c is correct so the correct answer is c second question consider the following statements about environmental impact assessment statement number 1 eia is a process of identifying predicting and evaluating the likely environmental impacts of proposed project or a development this statement is correct statement number 2 eia is mandatory for all projects in india this statement is not correct because it is not mandatory for all projects it is only mandatory for a certain categories of projects which are listed in environmental impact assessment notification 2006 let us go with the third statement EIA is conducted by the government even this statement is not correct because it can also be conducted by the private consultants so only one statement in this question is correct so option A is the correct answer let us go with the third question consider the following statements regarding coral reefs so before going into the statements let us know what is this coral reef is the corals have a symbiotic association with the algae called zooxanthophyllae and this algae will live on this coral these corals are of three types there are three types of coral the type 1 is called fringing reef the type 2 is called barrier reef and the type 3 is called atlas reef so these are the three types of coral reefs these fringing reef will present on lying shoreward of offshore reef structure and they are mainly seen in gulf of mannar and gulf of kutch let us go with this barrier reef this barrier reefs they are the offshore linear offshore reef structures that will run parallel to the coastline and arise from submerged shelf platforms and these are seen in nicobar and lakshadweep islands let us go with this altos reefs this altos reefs are arise from subsidizing sea floor platform as a coral reefs building keep ahead of subsidence and these are even seen in lakshadweep and nicobar islands so these are the different kinds of coral reefs let us know what are the functions of the coral reefs the coral reefs they are protective they are natural protective barrier against the erosion 
and also for storm surge and they provide a substrate for mangroves this is another kind of functions for uh, coral reefs they provide substrate for mangroves and another function is they capture planktons from the water so that they will get a nutrition so capturing planktons from water is the another function of this uh, mangrove and the next function is they are the producers they are the largest producers of calcium carbonate so these are the different kinds of functions of this uh, coral reefs so let us know why this coral reefs are getting bleached the causes of coral bleaching is due to the temperature the coral reef the coral species they live relatively in a narrow temperature margin anonymous low and high sea temperature can induce coral bleaching bleaching is more frequent reported from elevated sea water temperature so this is all about the coral reefs let us go into the statements to know what is the correct answer coral reef provide a substrate for mangroves this statement is correct because in the functions we have seen and the second statement is fringing reefs are linear offshore reef structure that run parallel to the sea uh, that run parallel to the coastlines and arise from submerged shelf platform this statement is not correct because the f this is this entire statement is talking about the barrier reef so the main function is of the barrier reef not for the fringing reefs let's go with the statement number 3 both low and high sea temperature can induce coral bleaching even this statement is correct so in the above statements two statements are correct so the correct answer is option b only two let's go with the fourth question consider the following statements regarding coral reefs statement number 1 says that coral reefs cover more than 25% of the earth surface which is not a correct statement because the coral reefs cover only less than 0.5% of the earth surface so this statement is not correct statement number 2 coral reefs helps in sustainably reducing coastal flooding and erosion this statement is correct because this coral reef will absorb 97% of wave energy and act like a low crested breakwaters which will help in reducing the coastal flooding and erosions so statement number 2 is correct statement number 3 increased ocean temperature causes reefs to expel the symbiotic algae which is responsible for their color this statement is even correct so if the temperature in the ocean gets increases the algae which is present with the coral will get expelled so that the color which is the algae will give the color to the coral reefs but here if the temperature increases the algae will get from get off from the uh, coral and this will lead to the coral bleaching so the statement 3 is even correct so how many of the above statements are correct so the correct answer is option b only two statements are correct question five consider the following statements statement number 1 when water gets too warm coral expel the algae known as zooxanthellae living in the tissues this statement is the correct statement statement number 2 corals cannot survive a bleaching event so this statement is not correct because coral can actually survive in the bleaching event but under the more stress and it will subject to mortality the statement number 3 coral bleaching threatens the existence of marine animals even this statement is correct because 25% of all the marine species are depending on the coral reefs so how many of the above statements are correct so statement 1 and 3 are correct so only two statements are correct so that's all about today's current affairs questions please do like the video share the video and for more videos please subscribe to our channel